Okay, so in this video, we're gonna look at splitting your game audio from your voice audio. So your friends talking on TeamSpeak and Discord and whatnot, totally separate audio track to the sounds from your computer and your games, okay? What you are gonna have to do though, before you continue, head over to the description, you'll find a link to all the bits of software, but you need this page here for voice meter. You wanna scroll down and you wanna click the orange install button. Okay, fire that up, install voice meter, head back to this page, and then there's a link at the top to virtual audio cable because you need that as well. Scroll down, download that, install it, and you'll also need either Discord, TeamSpeak, or Skype. And for recording your games, I would suggest DX Story because it can definitely take multiple audio tracks, although there are other bits of software out there. If you know of ones that can take multiple audio tracks, mention them in the comments below. So you can pause the video here, and then come back when they're installed, and we'll crack on with setting them up. Right, so if you're at this part of the video, then I assume you've you've went ahead, you've installed, you know, you, you've picked your voice, you've picked your recording software, you've installed voice meter and virtual audio cable. With those installed, what we're actually first configure is voice meter. So fire up your start menu, and I'm just gonna search for voice meter and fire it up. So I won't go into the intricates on how this actually works. We're just going to look at how to configure it and we'll leave it at that for now. Um, what you need to do first, at the top right for hardware output, this is what you want all of your audio while it's together and mixed up. So your vibe, everything, what do you want it to come through? So in my case, I want it to come out of my speakers. So for you, that could be your speakers. It could be a Logitech USB headset. It could be anything. You will notice that I've got WDM speakers. I've got MME speakers. You might have KS. Usually, I tend to go with WDM, find that performs the best, find that works best. If you're getting crackling or you're getting stutters or anything like that, just try the other versions of that particular entity, okay? So for now, we'll use WDM. If you have problems, try MME, try KS, okay? So I'm going to fire that on speakers for you, whatever you want, your headset, whatever. In number one, hardware input, or the one at the top left, we want to drop that down and we're going to do the same again, but for cable output, okay? That's it. Don't need to do anything else here, other than one last thing, which is to click menu and do system tray run at startup. This will do two things. It means that when you click it, you can press this X and it's gonna stay in the, in the system tray down here. It also means it'll start up in the system tray when you boot up your computer, so you don't have to worry about your audio not playing. So what we're gonna do now, you're gonna open your uh, playback devices so you can get to that through bottom right corner where your volume is for your speakers. Right click and click playback devices. Where it says voice meter input, you want to right click that and set as default device. Cable input, you want to set as default communication device. And then just press OK, that's that done. Next, you want to open Discord. OK, so you want to click your settings. And this will be the same for TeamSpeak Free and Skype and whatnot, they'll all be about the same. You want to go into the voice settings and we're going to set the input device to the microphone just to make sure it's definitely recording the right input. And then uh, we're going to set the output device to cable input and then you just need to click done after that. You can close that now and next you want to open up DX Story. Right, so once you're in DX Story, you want to open up the audio section. Again, this will apply to play call but the settings will obviously be a bit different but the configuration will be the same. Here you've got one audio stream being recorded. You want to press this plus button so you've got three audio streams. You want to set number one to your microphone to actually pick up your mic. Number two, we're gonna to set to voice meter input. And number three, we're gonna to set to cable input, which is there, cable input. That's it. So what'll happen now, when you record your gameplay, you'll actually have free audio streams once you put it into Premiere Pro or you put it into Sony Vegas. One audio stream will be your microphone. One's gonna be the game audio, and one's gonna be your TeamSpeak, your Discord, whatever audio, and they're totally separate. So if you need to cut something out of that TeamSpeak audio, you can chop up that audio track and you will not lose any of the game sound that was occurring at that time. Okay, if that helped, uh, you know, just hit like, hit subscribe, and then I'll hopefully see you in a different video.